Well, today it's time for a new brake video for a Goldwing. Um, just a slight difference here. Uh, we did the 84 GL 1200 Goldwing brake video telling you how the front brake was linked to the back brake so they would work together. I think on the, I think the right side was linked to the back brake so they would kind of work together. On the 1981, I can show you here, this bike is getting torn down if you need anything. 1981 GL 1100, there you go. So on the 81 GL 1100, I'm guessing it's the same for all models of the GL 1100 Goldwing, but just the front brakes. So you have one on the front left, one on the front right is a uh, run off of your master up here and you're very nice. That's actually, do I want to keep that? I don't know. I was going to sew all this together. Yeah, it's all together. So I should keep it as one. So anyway, that cable runs down here, sends hydraulic fluid through this splitter here. And then it goes one to that side, one to this side. So today I'm going to show you this one's still installed. I just checked to see if we were pumping fluid down through there and we are. And what it ended up happening was it pushed this bore out. So there's a cylinder in here and the fluid pushes this out and that's how your brakes work. Now there should be shoes in here, a brake shoe that sits around the rotor. It's not here. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how I would push this back. I have a giant C-clamp here and this just sits back in here. So all I'm gonna do, make sure you protect your housing if you don't wanna scratch it. If you don't care, go ahead and rip, rip up your paint. There's a little bit of scratches there, but I don't think that, well, I didn't put them in there. So anyway, I'm just gonna turn this in and uh, we're going to slowly, this should work. I don't think this is seized up at all because I watched it come out. But you see, this is a dust seal here to keep dirt out of there. But when you take these apart to service them, you can actually pump this whole uh, piece out and you can clean it up that way. But I'm not going to do that because I don't really need to make these serviceable on this bike again. So somebody will do that in the future. Here you can see as I start turning this in, this is a flat spot in here. So I was able to put my C-clamp in there. It is starting to compress back into the housing. Um, I'm not scratching the, the housing because I have this rag on here. And what I plan to do is, and I'll show you that too, put a wood block in here to keep this from coming out when I um, pump the fluid out because I don't want to ship them with brake fluid in it. So I think maybe I can show you without this moving around too much. As I turn this, we're pushing the fluid back out of here and up the line. But you just want to do it steady. And it's really not pushing hard. So that tells me it's not seized up and it's still actually pretty clean in there and working well. See how it's just, you can see the dust boot dropping back with it. Here's a little ring here that holds the dust boot on. So that's all you really need to do on some of these older bikes. Now, I don't know if they did on motorcycles, but a lot of the modern cars actually, you have to turn the whole thing in so it threads in and out. And uh, these are just easy. Just straight back in. So I'm not gonna bore you with this <laughs> bore. We're pushing it back into the bore. See, it's going back in. Urgh. All right, I'm gonna push this the whole way back in so, uh, so it's in where it needs to be. Here we are with uh, the cylinder pushed the whole way back in. You can see there's a little surface rust here because it has sat outside. It was that way before I got it. Um, this boot has kind of, I don't know if it got caught here or whatever, but it didn't really sit quite right. So I would, if I was gonna service these, I'd probably end up putting new dust boots on, but um, making sure everything sits properly. And I said I was gonna put a wood block in here, but now that I realize, 
since this is still installed with pads, that's not gonna go oh. anywhere. And since this is all the way pushed oh. in and held there, all I really need oh. to do is crack these caps and then um, use this up here and push everything down through, oh. out through the system. So really what I wanna do first is uh, open up that cap oh. and siphon out the brake fluid in there so we're not pushing more fluid down through. Well guys, I may have changed my mind here. I was just walking past my CB900C and realized they use the same master cylinder over there on my CB900. So, this has a nicer uh, handle, a nicer, you know, <laughs> whatever you call that, <laughs> brain fart. Uh, yeah, so, um, I think I'm gonna keep these parts for myself in case I would want them for my CB900. It looks like they might mount differently on the, uh, well, good look. Like I said, I was walking past here getting some tools and I thought, oh, this looks the same as my CB900. And uh, it is, I looked it up. Mine might, the Goldwing's definitely nicer than this. So I might use that over here. Uh, but the calipers might mount differently. It looked like something was different because it wasn't shared between the two. I'll have to look and do my research, but I'm gonna keep those, so I'm not gonna pump the fluid out of it right now. If I do in a future video, I will show you that. And, uh, oh, lever. What did I call it? It's a lever. I wonder, I don't know. This feels like it might work still. So anyway, another project here, CB900. That'll be a fun bike. But anyway, that'll be the end of this video because I thought I was going to teach you how to, well, we could change fluid this way also. Pump all the old fluid out, and as you pump out old fluid, you keep filling this, putting new fluid in. You're pushing out all the old junk, and you're putting in new fluid until new fluid's coming out the bottom. Great way to do it if it's uh, a wet system. If it's dry, you want to push new fluid up so you're keeping all the air bubbles moving upwards and out the system up top so i don't know if that makes sense to you but if it does i'll show you another videos when we do those projects on bikes so anyway we are tearing down the gl 1100 gold wing like i said if you need any parts hit me up in the comments we'll connect on instagram or uh or whatnot a lot of good stuff here so uh let me know what you need I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.